What I'd like to do is show you guys how to transfer an equation from standard form to vertex form. And if you guys remember, we've gone through a lot of different steps on how to find, uh, how to go through standard form to vertex form. The first step that we always have to look for is having our equation in x squared plus bx form. And what that means is on my a, because remember, originally we have a, b, and c, I have to have a 1 there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to factor out this negative 6. So I have to pull away this negative 6. And also, I'm going to have to pull it away. I'm going to have to pull away from all three terms. Now, you could pull it away from all three terms, but we're only really concerned about our first two terms because that's what I'm going to be completing. That's what I'm going to have in that, my perfect square with. So I'm going to factor out a negative 6. And remember, factor out a negative 6 is just kind of the same thing as like um, dividing out. So I'm going to have negative 6. So I'm going to be left with x squared and then plus Four x. And if you remember, you just want to double check your work. Negative six times x squared is negative six x squared. Negative six times four is going to be my negative twenty-four. All right. Then I'm going to leave a little bit extra room because remember I want to complete my perfect square. And then I'm going to put this minus twenty-five at the end. All right. Now the second step is to determine or to find um, b over two squared. So I need to take my b, I need to divide by 2, and I need to square it. So that's going to be 4 over 2 squared, which is going to equal 4 in this case. Correct? Right? Now, um, the next step that we, I've always done is I've said add to both sides. Because in previous videos, and what, I, what we've worked on before is we've worked on solving. And when you're solving, you want to add 4 to one side and add it to the second side. However, in this problem, we're not adding anything. So, uh, I'm sorry, we're not solving for a particular variable. We're just trying to change it, the format. So rather than adding a 4 to both sides, I'm just going to add and subtract it to the same side. Okay? It's the same thing like this. If I had... Um, I have 3 equals um, 2 plus 1. Okay? You could add, if I added 4 to both sides, that'd still make my equation true, right? You could also say plus 4 minus 4, and these equations would still be the same because these 4, add 4 minus 4 still cancels out. So I'm not changing anything by adding. However, here's the one mistake that students usually make, is I'm adding a 4 in here, correct? But this 4, since that's inside the parentheses, that's actually being multiplied by this negative 6. Does everybody see that? So I'm actually not adding 4. I'm actually adding a negative 24. No. Because that negative 6, is, if you distribute this through, negative 6 times 4 is a negative 24. Huh? How do you get the 4? It's the formula for the complete square is b over 2 squared. Wait. So b is 4. I divided it by 2. Huh? Uh, x squared plus, no, because what it did was I factored out a 6. So I took out the 6. So now here's my new, when I took out the 6, now this is my new b that I was using. So now, but still, to go through this, this is what I'm doing is I'm adding actually 24. That's a negative 6 um, times 24. So actually I'm doing adding 24. And now, if I'm going to subtract 24, that negative 4 needs to be multiplied by this negative 6. Because I add, I multiply this by 6, I need to multiply this by a negative 6. And that's going to actually give me a negative 24. So let me rewrite this so I get y equals a negative 6 x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then this is negative 25 minus negative 4. Because remember, I have to add a 4 and subtract 4. But you have to multiply by a negative 6 minus 24. Hopefully, that will help you guys see it a little bit better. Wouldn't that be a positive, though? Yes, it's going to be negative times negative, 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 negative would be positive. Thank you. So, now, uh, when looking at this, now I need to, my last step is write as a perfect square. So 
to write this out as perfect square, you guys can you guys need to remember these are your shortcuts. Whenever you see these perfect squares, is the same what two numbers multiplied to give you the last number, but add to give you the middle. You have to remember, you have to look for these perfect squares. Okay, they're all over. I'll give you guys, we've gone through tons of examples of these. You know, you have your x squared minus 6x um, plus 9, x squared minus, uh, or x squared plus 16x plus 64. You guys got to remember that's x minus 3 times x minus 3, which equals x minus 3 squared. And this one would be x plus 8 squared. Exact same kind of thing. You guys got you guys got to see these immediately. Here, I automatically know that this is going to be x plus 2 squared. So my final solution, y equals a negative 6 times x plus 2 squared. And negative 25 plus 24 is going to be minus 1. So now it is in vertex form. So I've just completed it from standard form. And now I'll put it to vertex form. And let's just go through the quick little elements. Remember vertex form, you have y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Therefore, my a over here is negative. So remember when we have a is negative, or I'm sorry, when a is less than 0, my graph is going to open down. So that's when a is less than zero. Uh, my k is a positive. My k is a. Uh, or my h. I'm sorry, is two. So h is actually. I'm sorry. My h is actually the original format is minus h. So if this is a positive two, that means this is originally a negative because a negative and a negative would make a positive. So my h is actually going to be a negative two. So you're actually going to shift left. 2, and my k is a negative 1, so I'm going to shift down 1. And these are all from your um, parent graph at the point zero, 0, But you can say that your vertex is at negative 2, negative 1. It's going to open down. It's also going to have a compression at negative 6. And we'll work on a little bit more graphing here in a second. But that's how you transform an equation to standard form to vertex form.